اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كفر الذين قالوا ان الله هو المسيح ابن مريم who so ever says that jesus christ the son of mary is god is making blasphemy kufr god almighty saying wa qala al masih remember what christ said ya bani israil la'budu allah O children of Israel, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord, who is my God and your God. Inna huma yushrik billahi, and even who associates anyone, even leave Jesus with Allah, faqad harram Allah alayhi al-jannata. Allah will surely forbid paradise for him or her. Wa ma'li zalimina min, wa ma'wa huwa al-nar. And the fire of hell will be the dwelling place for Malis Zalimin Amin Ansar. And then on that day, nobody will come to rescue you. Chapter 5, verse number 72. Today, the topic is about the deity of Christ or the divinity of Christ. I will not expound the lecture in detail, but I will give the most important aspects of it. You see, this is now has become a drama. Whenever you ask, ask Christians that where did Jesus say that I am God? Where did he say worship me? So you can see and sense there is a vibration in Christian dumb. They don't like this question. They don't want to hear this question from any Muslim missionary. Because this question is so important, so potent, so succinct, so basic, so unequivocal, or you can say so tersely spoken, that you get trapped by it and then your faith goes down. Because if the question is very simple, or as the Christian missionary says, if the plain reading of the text makes sense, then seek no other sense. If it makes common sense, then you have don't need to seek any other sense. So the best way to do this job is to ask a simple question. The claimant of whatsoever he or she should provide the exhibits. If you are unable to provide the exhibits, then there is a problem. That is why the reason I read this ayah, because if you see the ayah, Allah is quoting Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, that at his time, he used to say to his people, that, O oh, children of Israel, worship Allah, who is my Lord and your Lord, who is my God and your God. And then Allah further, it's like an addendum that whosoever will associate anyone with Allah, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ Then Allah will surely forbid paradise for him or her. وَهُوَ النَّارِ And the fire of hell will be the dwelling place for both, either woman or man. And then nobody will come on that day to rescue you if you die in the state of believing that anyone you can associate with God Almighty is the correct belief. So, <clears throat> if we analyze this verse of Holy Quran and if we put this as a litmus test or an acid test, you will surely see that you will never be able to find the verse tersely spoken by Jesus Christ where he is saying or where he said, I am God, where he said, worship me. You will never find it. What you will find it, this is what I'm going to tell you today. The most important verses.
the pivotal ones. This is what I'm going to tell you today. That what exactly we are looking in the scriptures. The problem with the Christian missionaries, unfortunately, they do not quote you the scriptures. They take you to the historical aspects. Where you know that the history, we have a lot of problems in Christianity. Any religion, if you talk on historical backgrounds, those all are hypo hypothesis. There's not knowledge which you call a certain knowledge. So you keep uh, plunging towards back and forth, but you will never be able to reach to the right point. So what we can do, we can discuss on your bona fide or bona fide. What exactly you believe. So if the Christian comes to you and tells you that this is my book of authority, Holy Bible, you don't need to go far. You don't need to just go there and you just search for apocryphal books, dubious books or non-canonical books. When you can do the job with their own books, why you go? would you go and find another problem for you? No. Whatever Christian says, say I accept that. Because you can do the job from their current Bible. You don't need to go far. <clears throat> the clear verdict been given in Quran where Allah says that Jesus Christ never said that worship me or I am God but on the contrary he said that <clears throat> O children of Israel worship Allah who is my God and your God. Then in one more place same surah same chapter Surah Al-Ma'idah the table spread chapter 5 verse 116 and 117. This is the dialogue between God Almighty which will going to happen in the future where Allah is asking you that O oh Jesus and his mother did you ever say in your lifetimes that you were gods or your mother was goddess? Jesus Christ will say or would say that O oh God Almighty how could be? How, how is this possible that I said such this abominable stuff? You, God Almighty, <clears throat> you know me. You know everything, knowledge of unseen. If I had said such a thing, you would have known it. But when you took me up, I'm not responsible. And these people are your people. If you want to forgive them, forgive them. If you want to punish them, punish them. But I did not say such a thing. My mother did not say such a thing. Clear? God Almighty is asking, is a rhetorical question or you can say it's a question to teach you and us that what is the truth, that a prophet never uttered those things. Now, this is Quran. Let's see. Take this test and put in the Bible. And this thing will also prove the authenticity of the Quran. Quran came later and giving you a test which is in your book which every Christian, more than 2 billion Christian on planet, they are boasting around that Jesus Christ is God. He came to save the world on the Cal Calvary cross and redeem the sins of the mankind. This is the basic tenet of Christianity. Allah says that they, they, you will never find these things from Jesus Christ's lips or mother. Why mother has been picked? Because of Roman Catholics. Protestants came later. I'm not interested in that. Roman Catholics. Unbroken chains of sequence of Pope coming forth from thousands of years. Didn't they do all these kind of reverence to Mary? Hail Mary. Mother of God. Even some worship them. <clears throat> so that's why Allah says Mary and son. Her son, both are on the trial, asking God Almighty ask question. They said, No, we our hands are clean, O oh Allah. Had it been for us to do such an abominable stuff, you would have known it. But these are your people. You want to forgive them, forgive them, you want to punish them, punish them. Allah passed the verdict. Anyone who associates anyone with Allah, Fakad Haram Allahu alayhi jannata. Allah will surely forbid paradise for him or her. So my Christian brothers and sisters, 
Repent yourself. Do not worship Jesus Christ. He is the creature. Creature in a sense that he is the created one with respect. Not creature, the created one. Once God Almighty creates something, that creation of God can never be God. It does not make sense. Once you are created, you are the part of the creation. <clears throat> now coming to the Bible. Let's see. One more thing. God Almighty also says in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran that leave about Jesus. No prophet ever came and taught his people that worship me beside Allah. Nowhere. Leave all the prophets. Leave Jesus Christ. Let's focus on every prophet in the Bible, minor or major, who proclaimed him his lifetime that he is God or he said that I am God or worship me none, including Jesus Christ. But you made a religion out of, out of it. So once you have a religion out of it, of course your religion stinks, is clinging on it. And the church has played the role. Everybody knows. This is all church's creation. Early churches, they persecuted people on the deity of Christ. 325 AD, Council of Nicaea or Nicaea. What was there? By political point of view, by showing hands, they anointed Jesus to the part of the Trinity. Did Jesus never said that I am the part of Trinity? Or those early disciples never claimed that Jesus is a part of Trinity. The text you have in your Bible, Matthew 28, 19, this is all forged, forgery. Who said it? Joseph Ratzinger, who was the former Pope, of the German Pope, who died. He said in his book that Matthew 28, 19, the whole passage of baptism, of Trinitarian baptism, is basically added later in the city of Rome. Not before the time of Jesus Christ. Nowhere you find Trinity is there where Jesus is preaching in Trinity. Only the closest verse from the mouth lip of Jesus was Matthew 20 and 19, which has been debunked by Joseph Ratzinger, the Pope, not an ordinary person. And Pope has the most privileged access to those books, not you ordinary Christian, you know that. In Vatican Rome, how many miles of library you have. Coming to the Bible. I challenge to whole Christianity. Nowhere in the entire Bible, Jesus said from his mouth, I am God and worship me. You know, clever Christian comes and tells us, okay, show us where Allah says in the Quran, same phrases. You know, this is what you call a bogus apologetic, nonsense apologetic. God is God. He doesn't have to say. Jesus was not God. He was created. You can see he was being created. You cannot expect a created person to be God. And then you presume that he should not say that I am God because he was God. How come? You can see that he was born in the stable. He was circumcised. God is getting circumcised. Anyways. Let's see. Allah says in the Quran, Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse number 12 or 13. Allah says, An Allah fa'abudni. I am God, I am Allah, worship me. Here in the Quran, it's clear. So the bogus apologetic Christians, listen this verse from Surah Taha, chapter 20. Allah says, I am God, worship me. Now you should so wear, Jesus Christ said that I am God and worship me, you will never find it. Jesus says in John chapter 20, verse number 20 onwards or 12. Hold, read whole passage. John chapter 20. Read whole. You will see at the last of the point, Jesus Christ said, I have not ascended to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Rabbi wa rabbakum. Did I quote this not in the Quran? Who is my Lord and your Lord? Exactly Jesus said in John chapter 20 verse number 12 onwards. I have not ascended to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Clear. How can Jesus call another person or entity God when he himself is God? Christian says that no, actually it was his human nature. Even a human nature. Once he has a human nature, that human nature and God, he has 
but the time of human nature can you say that he was not god can you say that all these questions which makes a conundrum in the minds of people can you believe according to christian jesus was god so god came down to this earth and put thousands of christians into confusion when god is on earth what the confusion is there it's gone god is walking amongst you the biggest mystery of this world is this to believe in unseen god and he is walking with you and you are still confused and you call it a mystery there is no mystery for you we can say we have a mystery because our aqida is that we have to worship unseen god we have to fear unseen god when the god is seen what is there left think about it god came down and put thousands of christian and you killed on the deity of christ and jesus himself didn't tell you preach you and explain you how to explain trinity you bring three pastors ask the question simultaneously they are fail or they will unable to apply the answer about explaining of trinity every pastor have the same holy spirit but their explanation will vary who is speaking the truth playing people games with the minds of people donations donations collecting from the churches that's all Jesus Christ said I have not ascended to my father and your father. Jesus said John chapter 5 verse 30. I can on myself do nothing as I hear as I judge and my judgment is righteous even so the father has sent me so I should speak. Who is speaking this? My father is greater than I. My father is greater than all and call no man your father on this earth. as is there there is only one your father which art in the heavens matthew 12 23:9 what these verses are for where he says that i am god where he says that i worship me you will never find till doomsday never not even the apocryphal books they have you never find these verses then why are you believing jesus to be god why think deeply jesus says the one who is being sent is not greater than the one who sends him so who was being sent jesus or god jesus was sent on this earth so he is not greater than the one who sends god almighty then how can you believe that he is in which side he said that i am equal in which place he says that i am a father or one has been done already john 10 30 we don't want to go into that the point is where he concrete knowledge where is concrete knowledge where is the concrete knowledge where jesus says i am god where he says worship me monosyllabic everything is monosyllabic that he is speaking tongue under the cheek astaghfirullah we don't believe that we need a concrete solid if he is god say so and mark you know one of the disciple came and say rabbi what should we do to you know what he said good rabbi and he said that why even you calling me good there is none good except god almighty john 17 1 to 5 jesus says that oh god almighty the work which you gave us to me i have completed and what's that work he's asking for reward he said that i glorify thee singular that thou art the only true god and jesus christ whom thou has sent now god almighty give me my reward I have finished my work. I have completed my work. I have th- told the things people what you were expecting from me that thou art the only true God and Jesus Christ meaning you have been sent like a messenger of Allah wajihan fi dunya wal akhirah wa min al muqarrabin wa min as salihin. This is the point. John 17 is the most important point. He has finished the work but you say no. He has to put on the cross to finish the job. So the translator of the bibles they play the games king james version says you have finished completed or finished other translator says no it's completed so you think that there is the missing points are there games after games this is what you ought to explain to the people why did jesus says that thou art you know what is thou art in archaic english and old english singular only true god what is only in your english only meaning beside you nobody so who was jesus then think that is what allah says 
that you utter lie against Allah and you know it. Your Jews have played the pen. For وَيْلُلِّلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِهِمْ ثُمَّ يَقُولُونَ حَازَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ Woe to them who write down the books with their own hands and then they say this is from Allah لِيَشْتُرُ بِهِ ثَمَنًا قَيْلًا So they can mint some money from it. فَوَيْلُ اللَّهُمْ مِمَّا كَتَبَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَوَيْلُ اللَّهُمْ مِمَّا يَكْسِمُونَ So woe to them what their hands do right and woe to them what they earned through it. Chapter 2 verse number 79 وَآخِرُ الدَّعْوَانَ عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِ